Hello there. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Thank you so much for tuning in to our second uh, video update. We are doing the ECF Day 42 Day Slash. Six weeks look ahead for today's second video. So uh, we're going to go six weeks ahead with a focus on the UK and Ireland with the extended ECM WF model to take us into the beginning of 2023. Can you believe that? Wow, 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 wow. I don't know. We're getting into a new year uh, with this update. And uh, I should get on it for you in a moment. Just say that the first video is a well, 6 a.m. upload. But we get forecast add a 10 to 14 day coming up for you as well. Uh, so please like, share, subscribe on the video. Thank you super triply for doing that. And uh, thank you so much to ECMDF.int for supplying the charts as well. Thank you so much, EC. <laughs> right, okay. Well, we'll crack on then, shall we? So we're going to begin with the uh, week one. I'm sorry, sorry everybody. We're going to begin with week one, 500. No, it means the pressure anomaly. From the 21st to the 28th of November, next week, really. Right, so um, the uh, the next week is going to be unsettled, actually, <laughs> with low pressure. I'm so sorry, everyone, I'm being very silly. Low pressure coming in off the Atlantic. Uh, a little bit like that. Right, so the 500 millibar height anomaly for next week also looks very unsettled. Deep, low pressure. Driving in from off the Atlantic. Um, well, there we go. Very unsettled looking charts there. Temperature anomalies next week are going to be a bit above average. Oh, that makes a change. Uh, <laughs> going to be around one to three degrees above normal. Although in the north, a little bit closer to average actually. And uh, precipitation anomalies are wetter than average. Look at that. Wet week to come. Wet wicket. So mild and wet through the last <laughs> week of uh, November. Right, well, that's that one done. Let's have a look at week two. This will be the 28th of November to the 5th of December. Uh, so uh, so December looks unsettled still. On this update, with low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic, heights are building, high pressure is building over western parts of Russia. We're going to try and get the wind into the east across the northern eastern Europe, but for us, we keep wind in from off the Atlantic, so that would remain unsettled and pretty mild as well. I don't know. <laughs> the 500 millibar height anomaly has below average heights in the Atlantic still. Above average heights from the Azores towards Spain. So it all looks very westerly there. Have got high pressure across eastern parts of Europe. Touch anomaly! <laughs> it's going to be above average. It's another very mild week to come. As we move from November into December, no change with that. And uh, the precipitation anomaly still looks pretty wet, doesn't it, for the UK and for Ireland as well. So, mild and wet weeks one and two. Week three, three will be the 5th to the 12th of December. Oh, oh. High pressure starts to get going uh, to the north around Scandinavia. Now, could that start getting the wind in from the east? Could it, could it, could it, could it, could it, could it, could it. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar height anomaly. Now, that just looks more anticyclonic, really. So, uh, I mean, it probably is turning uh, cold, but it would be main dry, I think, with that. There's just lots of high pressure covering much of uh, northern Europe. What about temperature anomaly? It's coming down. Come on down. It's coming down. So we're reversing back closer to average now. Uh, but not cold. Um, precipitation anomalies are drying out. As that area of high pressure takes over, it starts to become drier. So is that a change in week three? <laughs> I wonder. Let's see what week four's doing. This will be the 12th to the 19th of December. 
Oh, now that's quite oh, <laughs> now that's quite interesting. High pressure is in the North Atlantic towards Greenland now. So we've got a bit of a Mid Atlantic red towards Greenland type idea. Could that be bringing like a cold northerly or northeasterly wind? I wonder. Let's have a look at 500 millibar height. Uh, ridging in the Atlantic, heading up towards Greenland as well. And uh, that might be bringing the wind from like a northerly direction. Will this go cold? Let's have a look. Still into it being a bit milder than average, if anything, to our north. I just like sea surface temperature on its own because the seas are so warm uh, at the moment. It's picking up on that. Um, but I think that is turning cooler as we go further on into December. And the precipitation anomaly, very weak signal by this point, but it ends up being a little bit on the drier side. Right, week four will be the ninth. No, week five <laughs> will be the 19th to the 26th of December. How's this one looking? Oh, now look at that. That's not very good if you want a cold Christmas drought. We've got high pressure setting up over France and Italy, which would get wind back into the west and the southwest. Oh, let's have a look at the 500 millibar height. It's actually that uh, just shows high pressure across Western Europe. So that could still be cold from, you know, a frost and fog perspective. It could be a little bit of gruesome too, so. Maybe a little bit of a gruesome twosome there. Temperature and only possibly picking up a little bit. And uh, precipitation anomaly looks dry. Dry to us. <laughs> and wet to the north. Right, well, that's that one done. That's a bit of a damp squib, isn't it? Uh, right, let's have a look at week six. Then. So this will be from Boxing Day to the 2nd of January 2023. Here we go. Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Oh, I don't know what to make of that. What do you think? We've got high pressure going towards eastern, southeast Europe. Now, technically, that's going to be mild for eastern Europe. Um, but it's not clear what's going on in the west, actually. Low pressure down towards Spain and Portugal, though. 500 millibar heights, looking like that. So that shows above average heights across much of uh, Europe with low pressure, low pressure out in the Atlantic. And that's probably going to be bringing up a mild of somebody southwesterly. Mild start to the new year. Temperature normally is not mild across much of northern Western Europe. Actually, the UK and Ireland is closer to average here, but I expect we'd be mild too. And um, wise well, just trying to get a little bit more unsettled out in the Atlantic, possibly hinting at something a bit wetter coming in. Right, well, that's that, <laughs> man, uh, for this week. So, the interest is in weeks three and four, uh, where it might get a little bit colder. But Christmas is a bit of a letdown here and New Year. So, uh, drat. Never mind, it's only one update. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, what model is showing when we look at it again for the European Outlook on Tuesday. And, of course, we'll do the white, the, uh, we'll do the, uh, so that's a wide uh, uh, scenario uh, forecast with this one on Tuesday. And then we'll do another UK and Ireland focus update um, probably on Friday next week, I would have thought. If you enjoy this video, and why wouldn't you have done that? Please, you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And thank you so much to ECM.it for supplying the charts as well. We'll be back later on the weekend forecast and 10 to 14 day or two. I shall see you for that. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. <laughs>